Hi Booktube. I'm here today to talk about an issue very close to my heart and my own personal experience. And an issue that has been kind of touched upon in the community. Um, but I'd like to put my own two cents in there. Um, today I'd like to talk about working class readers. Uh, to clarify that, I mean lower socioeconomic class. Lots of studies link lower socioeconomic status to illiteracy, dyslexia, and a general disinterest or disinclination to read. I wanted to address these issues as a working class reader myself. The first issue is time and money. Because the two are definitely linked for the working class. First of all, there's less time to read for members of the working class. They're likely not working 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, with the option to work from home some days. They're more likely to work odd hours, long hours, shift work, or continentals. They are more likely to work on weekends or evenings. They're more likely to be doing strenuous physical or emotionally intensive labor, or something that's mind-numbing and repetitive duties that also contribute to lower energy levels when you're off work. There's also a study in regards to why lower class people were more likely to eat fast food or convenience foods as opposed to taking the time to cook healthy meals. And it was because even if they have the same amount of time as someone from a higher socioeconomic class to cook, their time is actually valued as less. Uh, so this means their hourly wage is less and they carry that time value outside of working hours and are less likely to engage in activities that require a lot of time. This means reading, which takes up a fair bit of time, I think we can all agree, um, is not a valuable way to spend what free time working class people have. There's not enough bang for your buck in reading a book. This is not even going into the actual loss of money in regards to reading, actually the costs of acquiring books. Let's face it, books are expensive. The average price of a trade paperback in Canada is $24 and $12 for the mass market paperbacks. For new release hardcovers, the price jumps up to $35 average. They can go up to $50 for a hardcover. What about ebooks? Even if you pirate them, you still need internet access, which costs money, and a device to read them on, which are not necessarily an expense working class people can justify. There are, of course, ways to find cheaper free books, if you're willing to look, and that usually works out so that those of us in the working class read more backlist books, out-of-print books, um, i.e. not new books, obscure books, you know, which, to be honest, I believe works in our favor, because I prefer the backlist to, to new releases myself. Lower economic classes are also less likely to receive as good an education as upper or middle class, classes which affects reading comprehension and enjoyment. There are, there are a lot of factors in regards to socioeconomic class and education. First, schools, elementary and secondary. Better neighborhoods, i.e. ones that are more expensive to live in, have better schools. The increase in taxes, the more money from fundraising, even the pressure to make sure these students do better to maintain status mean these students have increased literacy and reading comprehension. In lower socioeconomic neighborhoods, teachers are paid less, there's an increase in behavioral and learning difficulties, parents can't always afford supplies or fundraising, and reading material is often outdated. Post-secondary is expensive. And yes, you can get loans, but that's even more expensive in the long term as interest accumulates and you have to work to pay that off. Not to mention that a degree in English is not always a great marketing tool for jobs. For working class people, it's not always financially viable to justify a post-secondary education, especially in the arts. Now, let's touch on a different topic. Books by or about the working class. People like to see themselves in books, but it's really difficult to find books that don't feature middle class families, wealthy women who can quit their jobs to go find themselves, siblings arguing over who gets the sizable inheritance, or crazy rich Asians. It's hard to find working class authors because it's almost impossible to be one. Authors either need to have financial support from family, whether that's a working spouse or inherited sum from parents, or a job that allows them time to write. Things that don't exist for the working class. 
And when working class is depicted in literature, they tend to be romanticized or perpetuating the lie that everyone can move up socioeconomic class if they just work harder or marry rich. And if you somehow do manage to overcome these hurdles and become a working class reader, you also have to deal with the judgment of your peers. There may be issues of jealousy or resentment, or they may think you're showing off, or they may think that you are trying to be better than them, which leads to mockery or even loss of friends. These are just some of the issues I see as a working class reader and why there seems to be so few of us. Let me know if you are a working class reader and how that affects your reading. And thank you for watching.